Okay, everybody, uh, this is going to be part two of uh, doing 3D printed body panels and then skinning or encapsulating them in carbon fiber. Um, I'm going to go over some of the tools or some of the equipment that you will need to do this. Um, so let's uh, talk about that now. First of all, you'll need a 3D printed part. Um, this one has been glued together. Um, you saw in part one how you finish those parts. Uh, with uh, some Dura glass, and then you sand them smooth. Again, it doesn't need to be smooth enough for paint, but the smoother you get it, the better the results. So let's talk about some of the equipment. Um, we'll start over here. First of all, you're going to need some carbon fiber mat. Um, this is mat I get where I get most of my supplies, which is Composite Envisions, um, and they have various different types of mat and different styles you can get some that uh, are actually uh, uh, have some blue Kevlar in them which is really nice because uh, it uh, kind of glints in the sunlight uh, so some access accent pieces are going to be uh, done in this material they also have two different types of material there's the regular type which you can see frays really well or <laughs> badly as the case may be and then this is their web lock, which actually does not fray as much. And so you want to use this when uh, you're tucking in corners and things like that nature, and you don't want all of these stranding falling all over the place. But this stuff is 35 bucks a yard. This stuff is about 19 bucks a yard, so bear that in mind. Um, you'll then need uh, some 3M Super 77 adhesive spray. I get this at Home Depot. Pretty easy, uh, cheap stuff to get. Uh, 3 8 tubing. Um, I also get this at Home Depot. Uh, you'll need some scissors, maybe some clamps. You'll need the uh, sticky bagging tape that they have. Uh, this yellow stuff, it's really nice. You'll need a catch can um, that has a readout for the uh, vacuum. Um, and you want to hold a vacuum that's going to be uh, down close to uh, minus 30 uh, inches of mercury. So. We'll talk about that in part three. Uh, you need a uh, vacuum pump. You don't need anything special. This is a single stage I've been using for most of the builds. And uh, as long as you pull a good vacuum, uh, this pump will do you quite well. Um, then you need uh, some cups, uh, like the paint cups uh, for doing the mixing of the epoxy resin. Um, again, here's the epoxy resin I use. Um, this is great stuff. Um, I've used gallons and gallons of it uh, with very good results. Um, and make sure you use epoxy. Um, I've tried using uh, polyester resins um, and they just aren't strong enough uh, for doing these panels. They actually will peel away from the 3D printed part. Um, you also need some uh, hose clamps. Um, these are things that will cut the hose off and, and uh, uh, stop the flow of either vacuum or epoxy resin. Uh, and then you'll need a hardener. Um, so you get the 1171 and the 1172. Uh, these are really good uh, uh, epoxy resins that I use. Then you'll need a couple other things. You'll need uh, this peel ply which basically is a fabric that releases from the epoxy once your uh, mold is or you're uh, done uh, inf infusing and the part has cured. This here is a uh, vacuum bag material. Uh, it's really good stuff, comes in a single sheet that's about 60 inches long and you use that yellow tape I showed you in order to seal it up. Uh, and then you'll need this. This is flow media. So this allows the epoxy to flow over the entire part and saturate uh, the part properly. And I might add that this is the best uh, epoxy because it's infusion epoxy. You can't use epoxy such as this. So don't use this for doing infusion. Uh, it will not wet the carbon fiber. Um, this I actually use after the... Uh, part has been uh, done. I use this uh, to coat the part and give it a nice sheen and I'm currently sanding this part down um, uh, and then we'll give it multiple layers of the thick epoxy 
and then uh, polish it up and it'll look real nice. This is actually a side view mirror uh, that I'm doing and this is the post for that side view mirror. So they look a little rough right now but they will they will turn out quite nice when I'm done. So anyway that's all I've got for uh, part two. Uh, stay tuned for part three where we're actually going to start doing the skinning process with uh, with these tools. Uh, thanks for watching.